child uh, growing up in somewhat poverty. I was broke growing up. I didn't have toys. I didn't have an Xbox. I didn't have Sony. I didn't have any of those things. And I had a father who was an immigrant who didn't speak English. And a lot of people made fun of that growing up. Um, I remember inviting kids over from school. And like I said, I had no interesting toys to play with. So my dad would watch the TV. He could read and write English, but watching TV, sometimes it was hard to understand. So I grew up with uh, closed captions. I call them subtitles on the screen at all times. And I knew that I wanted to do something in entertainment. I was in every church play. I wanted to be the actress, you know? <laughs> um, so I had never seen or known anybody who had done professional acting. I'd never seen a script in my life. I didn't even know how to get one. But I knew that, oh crap, the words come up on the screen and that's the script. So for me, a fun pastime was having friends over and being like, all right, when oh. it comes up, it says Meg and I'm Brian. You read Meg and I'll read Brian. <laughs> I invited this kid over and they ended up telling everyone in my school, don't go to Adrian's house, she's super weird. Her parents don't speak English and she's gonna make you read the TV for fun. Oh, oh wow. And I cried <laughs> so bad about that. Like, to me, that was so heartbreaking and I would invite kids and they'd be like, no, you're gonna make me read the TV. <gasps> and Later on in life, I got a job like this, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I got an incredible compliment from a producer once that said, man, why is it when you're reading the prompter, yes. it never looks like you're reading the prompter? And I said, God, you are so good. <laughs> Baby, I've been reading the prompter since I was eight and I didn't even know it. I think if, if we could instill that in our children to recognize, yes. yo, whatever the that thing is, that is your things that you think are holding you back, that people make fun of you for, trust and believe that is God setting you up. That's yes. preparation yes. for what you're intended to be. Yes.